few months ago, I made a video, and I have to be honest, you surprised me. The video was called A Day in the Life of a Surgeon. It'll be linked up at the end of this video. And of all the comments on the video, by far the number one theme that people really focused on was this 24-hour shift and what it means for residents who work 24-hour shifts. And I realized that not only were there a lot of questions, there's a lot of misunderstanding also out there. And so I thought it might be cool to make a video explaining a little bit more about what goes on. And so you're not stuck talking to me the whole time, I thought I might bring in some friends who are surgery residents also. <laughs> Pretend that this is the audience right there. Okay. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's all. I think that's all that I had. One question that people had was, are we sleepy and falling asleep in the middle of a surgery? Have you ever fallen asleep while you're operating? Never fallen asleep while operating. No, definitely not. No, not in the operating room. That doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. No, honestly, when you're operating especially, you kind of get an adrenaline rush and you're hyper-focused for the most part. The shifts tend to go pretty fast, especially when you're busy. Another misunderstanding that kept coming up was that it's automatically bad for patients when residents work longer shifts. There was this idea that, hey, if I'm a patient, I don't want a doctor that's working a long shift. I want a doctor that's just come in. And the truth is, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So I think the biggest reason why we take these 24-hour calls is to have that continuity of care. It's better for patient care because there's one person that's responsible for the entire aspect of a patient's care that day. So, you know, if you get called with a consult, you see that consult. You're the person to admit the patient, you're the person to operate, you're the person that takes care of the patient postoperatively. Another question that people had was, how do we stay alert the whole time during 24-hour shifts? The reality is there are lots of ways that we do this. So I definitely have coffee, but on top of that, yeah. <laughs> but on top of that, I think just having a system, especially when you're there for um, an extended period of time, um, when you're going to check up on things, uh, just a system, a way that you're going to do everything. Caffeine is a big plus, but. Uh, we are taught to do uh, strategic naps. Strategic naps, when you have some downtime, if any, um, to catch some shut eye for 10 15 minutes at any opportunity you get, um, that supposedly gets you more alert and uh, be able to handle the 24 hour call. Something else that really cracked me up was this idea that residents are working 24 hours because, like, we're greedy and we just want more money. And that's also kind of funny, but it's totally not accurate. So the money thing is definitely <laughs> not the reason why we take these calls. Um, Do you get paid more as a resident when you work no. in 24 hour? Technically you get paid less by the hour <laughs> because because <laughs> we're you know on a salary, so we get paid uh, the same amount no matter how many hours you work. So the less hours you work, you know, technically you are getting paid more by the hour, but no, the financial is not a, uh, <laughs> it's not part of the, reason why we take point four. I hope you found this interesting and I hope this kind of shed some light on what we do. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for updates. And if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. All right, I'll see you guys next time.